Hello everyone from a random Tibetan village. Wei and I passed by this village a couple of days ago and we're gonna explore this beautiful place. Here I am on this big old cliff. We got this big ravine, this grass, these mountains, these villages. There is a lot going on over here, okay? So we're gonna take you guys on a tour and let's see what life is like here in Yunnan's Tibetan region. item right here is a prayer wheel and there are prayers written on the wheel and as you spin it it represents the prayers being released into the universe and there's some cute little designs on here too it's a very artistic prayer wheel and all the way around this stone structure there's a whole bunch of them so you can like walk around it and spin them all Hello. <laughs>你是钻金的地方吗是哦哇你的衣服好漂亮房顶上那个旗是什么东西啊旗阴年平安的意思嘛平安的意思旗阴年四旗阴年一年摇房谢谢客服我们看到了好多这个旗不知道是什么东西
So you might think that in a rural area, it would be very difficult to find a place for lunch, but there's actually a tiny town right near this village we were just in. So here we are. Many restaurants around here don't even have menus. You just look at what's in the fridge and you order based on what is available. So this is a type of cured meat and it was actually made by the lady who just brought our food to the table. So this is as fresh as it gets, people. And this is a type of bean, cucumber, bean, and meat item. Here is the main seating area, and here are the little private rooms for business conversations. There are stone stacks with prayer rocks on top scattered throughout the local villages. People generally walk in circles around them and Wei suggested biking around one to maximize prayer output and minimize time expense. However, we were stopped midway through by a kind lady who informed us that we were going in the wrong direction. <laughs> Oh. 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 Just like the cows and yaks and hay racks, these things, whatever they're called, are also all over the place in this village and I really lost count of how many I encountered. They are everywhere. I saw all these colorful prayer flags from down there in the village, so we walked all the way up here to check out this little temple. Look how far we've come. These are prayer flags, and each one has a prayer written on it in Tibetan. And this is a really big prayer wheel and there's a bar underneath so a bunch of different people can like spin it together. But if you think this is a big prayer wheel, then you should see the one outside our hotel window. It takes at least six or seven people to get this bad boy going and it is a serious workout. <laughs> but anyway, back to the village. Wow, this yak belongs out on the catwalk. Look at that strut and those earrings. So fashionable. 
Sorry guys if you're not into yaks, but expect to see a lot of them over the next few weeks because I just can't stop filming them. They're so funny looking with their long shaggy coats and their big eyes and their long horns and the way they stare at you when you pass by them. So yeah, sorry. I cannot stop filming the yaks. We're gonna be seeing a lot of yaks. We're also gonna be seeing several more Tibetan villages, small towns and cities over the next few weeks. We are super curious what life is like in Tibetan regions and we're gonna be taking you with us on our shenanigans. So get excited. We are gonna be spinning a lot of prayer wheels over the next few weeks. That's all for today, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed the Tibetan village experience and I will see you guys in the next video. In the next video.